and one of the least examined aspects of President Obama's escalation of the Afghan war, armed private security contractors are being killed in action by the hundreds, at a rate more than four times that of U.S. troops, according to a previously unreported congressional study. At the same time, the new Congressional Research Service study found the Obama administration has drastically increased the military's reliance on private security contractors, the vast majority of whom are Afghans who are given the dangerous job of guarding aid and military convoys. In a 10-month period between June 2009 and April 2010, 260 private security contractors working for the Defense Department were killed, while over the same period, 324 U.S. troops were killed. In analyzing the numbers, the report found a private security contractor, quote, working for DOD in Afghanistan is 4.5 times more likely to be killed than uniformed personnel. Unlike when a soldier is killed in action and the military promptly issues a press release describing the circumstances of the death, contractor deaths go almost entirely unreported by the Pentagon and, by extension, the media. As a result, both the level of violence and the number of people being killed as part of the U.S. effort in Afghanistan are being significantly underreported. Details about how the private security contractors are dying are exceedingly hard to come by, beyond the fact that the majority were killed while guarding convoys. The Defense Department told Salon.com it does not track the names or even the nationalities of the killed contractors, though a DOD official recently testified to Congress that the military's private security contractor force is over 90 percent Afghan.